everyone welcome to pumpkin horror now today we're going to be touching base on a uh, NECA figure based on Michael Myers this one here is in fact from Halloween 2 it is the ultimate set uh, I do have another one coming in from uh, ne ne from NECA from Big Bad Toy Store and it is in fact the cloth version of Michael Myers this one is not that one uh, apparently there's two different versions of the Halloween 2 figure but we're going to touch base on this one here and I'll show you the accessories. I'm going to pull everything out of his box. Uh, the actual cover here you can see. I do have the pumpkin for that inside this box. And I believe it's supposed to open up. So we'll see what it does Okay, once I get a hold of it. Or maybe it's just the way it is. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to go over this particular uh, figure. And once the other one does come in, we'll touch base on that one as well. So, in the meantime, this is Pumpkin Heart. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you uh, things in separate uh, video clips. Uh, I'm going to start off with the box, and then I'm going to show you what's in the package. And then eventually I'll pull everything out of the uh, package and show you what it looks like up close and personal. But in the meantime, let's check out the box art. It's absolutely cool looking. Well, you've already seen it from a distance, but... The actual skull on this, or the pumpkin, not the skull, pumpkin slash skull, is very cool looking. Now, I do have another prop coming in from Big Bad Toy Store. It is the actual Halloween prop from 1978. It lights up and stuff like that. Once that comes in, I'll show you what that looks like. But I do have another one. It's from The Curse of Michael Myers. And I thought that was the 1978 one until I actually did some research and found out that it was, in fact, from The um, Curse of Michael Myers. It's a cool-looking pumpkin. Don't get me wrong. It's got, you know, it's very traditional and jagged cuts and stuff. But it is cool looking. But the other one will eventually come in and we'll do a, uh, a video on that. But anyway, let's just open up the box here. And that's what the actual inside of the box looks like, the cover art. As you can see, he's very cool looking. Okay, I also got the Ben Tramer mask in this thing too as well. I believe that's what they're called. So we will definitely check those out. All right. And that's what it looks like. You can use this if you want to take it apart and use it as a backdrop, backdrop if you want. But I don't necessarily do that. I end up throwing these boxes out after a while. And that's the side of the box. Okay. And in the back, you obviously seen it on the uh, carousel or turntable. Okay. And that's what he's like, oh lord, we got to go through this. Uh huh. Anyway, that's the box art. Now, the package in itself, as you can see, they're all strapped in. Okay. Now, these things are very hard to cut because they're small. So, you got to play around with that actually cutting the figure. But you'll notice that the actual figure in itself is not cloth material. The other one that I get, do got coming in from uh, Big Bad Toy Store is a cloth material version of it. I'll show you that once it comes in. Alright, and that's the pumpkin right there. Okay, I believe it splits open. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's just the way it looks. Alright, and then... The many variations of hands all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take everything out of his package and then we're going to go over the figure hello everyone we are back with everything out of its box now before we get into the actual figure in itself i want to show you the accessories that this actual box set comes with so we're going to start off with the masks okay this one here is in fact the original halloween 2 mask that he is seen wearing in the beginning of the movie and you know in some aspects you see where he's bloodied I got that one and the Ben Tramer mask that he's wearing right now okay but anyway now that's what this mask actually looks like right there All right. so if you ever wanted to pick this one up I actually got this from Walmart and it was like $32 standard price for a NECA figure but you don't have to pay for the shipping and handling good thing okay inside has a little hole if you can see it top of the head all right now let's move into the next mask which is the bloody variant version as you can see it's bleeding from his eyes you'll notice in his eye there it's damaged okay I don't know if you can see it with the shadowing like it does all right let me pull that other one up here so you can see that they're pretty much the same mask except one has blood on it. Alright. 
That's what that looks like. Okay, guys? Alright. Moving on. It also comes with, obviously, the one you're seeing right now, but I'll show you that in a second. I'm going to show you the different hands that it comes with. Alright. Here we go, guys. I'm going to kind of spread them out a little bit here if I can. Alright. Well, that's what the hands look like, okay? The different kind of um, hand grips and stuff. This one here, you can actually use it for the knife, but it's already have uh, one of those. Or the syringe, or the actual blade-like thing he uses, or the hammer, okay? So you could use this for anything. It's a, pretty much the same as the one with the knife, okay? Alright. Enough about these guys. Let's get into the actual weapons. The syringe, he uses it on certain people. Okay, hang on. Phone's ringing. Always seems to ring at the wrong times. You need to disconnect that phone, really. Or find a different place to do these. So you don't hear the phone. Hang in there, guys. Just kind of look at the syringe. There it is, problem solved. <laughs> okay, sometimes it doesn't always come in. But that's a syringe right there, man. Okay, he uses it on um, various hospital members. Say so here, take this in your eye. Now this guy here is some kind of a blade-like thing. I'm not sure when he used this, but I'm sure he did. Okay, turn it around here. Show you the other end. Almost looks like a needle. Alright, last but not least, it's hammer time. Okay. Okay, that's the hammer. Now I'm going to show you the pumpkin that it comes with. Also, the other one that's coming in through Big Bad Toy Store also has a pumpkin. I'm not sure if it's the same one or not. But as you can see, it is traditional to Halloween too. But the unique thing about this is if you open it up, you get yourself a nice little skull in the center here. I have uh, Toonie Terrors, I think they're called, or Terra Toonies. I think they're called Terra Toonies. Toonie Terrors, I think they're called. I get that confused. Anyway, there's uh, Michael Myers figures. Uh, they come with these kind of uh, pumpkins. They open up and stuff. But that's what she looks like right there. Hang on. Okay. I'm trying to give you a full look of it. Close it up. So she looks like on the bottom. Now you can leave it closed up or obviously you can pull it apart. Okay, and you get the skull. Okay. Which is the plan. Alright, but anyway, let's get into the actual figure. Okay. The Ben Tramer mask. Okay. Now you notice in this mask here, you can still see a little bit of the neck color. Okay, the other ones are more, they're closer to the skin color, except this one here obviously is pure, pure white. So yeah, it's kind of noticeable, but it works alright for the most part. Oh wow, I didn't even come, okay, hang on guys. There we go. There you go. Okay, there you go. Alright, now you notice that the actual uh, overalls that he wears is not cloth-like. The one I got coming in, apparently it does have a cloth version. I do have another one from, I think, 1970, or it could be a 2018, I think it is. Now, there is a cloth version one sitting on my shelf back there. And I guess they make different variants of it. One with the cloth material, and obviously this one here. I prefer these over the other ones, as you know, they're easier to maintain. Okay, and that's what the back of it looks like. Okay, back of the head. All right. I put it on the stand because obviously it's easy to stand them. Now this is the actual knife here. Hang on for a second, here, guys. 
See if I can push that in a little bit more. No, I guess not. Okay. Anyway, that's the knife that it comes with. Alright. His boots and everything. Now I'm waiting for the Halloween uh, kills. It's supposed to be October 13th, I think. That they uh, start that movie in theaters and stuff. Can't wait for that to come out. That's in a couple of weeks, guys. We'll be able to see what happens with that. Okay. Now, I think in this movie here is where they started the rumor about Laurie, Sh Laurie Stroh's actually being his, uh, you know, sister and stuff like that. I'm not a big fan of that theory. I'd just rather see Michael just go on a killing spree. It's just a serial killer. Pretty much, you know, stabbing people and stuff like that. But the whole storyline with uh, Laurie Strode's being his uh, sister and stuff, eh, it is what it is. It's not the worst thing, but anyway, this is my Michael Myers from Halloween 2. Okay. And you get to look at it in all its glory. Okay. And it also comes with this guy here. All right. And the other accessories, I will be putting those in uh, sandwich bags, label them, and putting them back in the closet where I got all the rest of my other figure, NECA figure uh, accessories. Keep them organized. It's the best way to do it. But anyway, this is my Halloween 2 Michael Myers, and I actually put the Ben Tramer mask on instead of the traditional mask that you normally would see. And also the bloody variant ones here. I could have put that on there, but I chose not to because I like this one here because it stands out. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do there. And the other accessories comes with the syringe, the blade-like thing, as well as hammer time. Anyway, this is Pumpkin Horror. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I will be pushing out some more videos uh, based on horror and Halloween. It is that time of the year, so uh, I did buy some stuff yesterday. I'm going to do that in a separate video to show you what it looks like. I got some Day of the Dead. As well as some, uh, what else did I get? Oh, some signs. I'm going to show you the signs that I got. But, you know, slowly I'm going to show you what I get this year and every year after that. Anyway, this is Pumpkin Horror. You guys have yourselves a good day.